Pinto outside, out of the garage. Bottom blocks in the back. <clears throat> Jack stands up front. Now that the back is done, it's time to work on front suspension. Once we get that done, then we pull out the old four cylinder. Get ready for V8. stiff get some TVMs oh dear this out you gonna have to fix that Weight reduction. I have to make a new battery box, I think. But for now, we just need to remove all the suspension stuff here. That'll be fun. All right. So how do we take all that apart? Let's fire up the old 1980s internet. Nope, nope. This right here. This is called a book. In case some of you have never seen a book before, but there's all this information on these pages here that you used to be able to find on the internet. <clears throat> but <clears throat> nowadays, if you need to know something, you go back to the old book. So, we're looking for page 308. It's kind of like a web page, but it's an actual page in a, in a book. 308. Front coil spring removal. Front suspension lower arm removal. We're asking about a special tool. Or a really heavy bolt and nut. Now there is where modern internet might be helpful. But this should get us to where we need to be. Alright, so we got the pin bolts out of our Speedway Motors brake calipers. They're, I guess called a metric GM caliper. We got brake line pulled off and draining my real crappy brake fluid out. Let's see if we can pull this thing off. Probably not with one hand. So we got that off. Pads don't look that bad. Really, I only drove this to town twice, I think. So I wouldn't expect any significant wear. So this is the bracket that Speedway sends with their Mustang 2 kit. Um, I think we can leave that on, but... Um, I thought I read that they want you to take the brake rotor off, which I think I'll do because I think I want to take 
this dust shield off it's just a piece of crap anyway so let's get at that all right so i got the dust shield off as you can see it was rubbing i assume it was rubbing on the new rotors um, that's why it's not going to go back on it doesn't even cover most of the diameter of the rotor anyway was rubbing up there too huh so what's next better go back to my book all right so i kind of show you part of the reason to do the whole suspension see this strut and the rubber that is like mostly gone um, same with the sway bar rubber that's pretty much gone up here is pretty much gone that rubber is surprisingly good must have been replaced with that one but bunch of garbage well so I was in process of getting the sway bar removed there's a nut on the other side that's stuck and I noticed all of a sudden I sprung a leak what the heck is that <clears throat> like the fuel line started leaking oh looks like I gotta Get that away from the sway bar. Nice. All right, so I ended up having to cut that hose off of there. Apparently, it's just gonna siphon out my whole freaking gas tank, I think. So, I guess we'll just let it do its thing. Free lawn, more gas. Look at that spider. All right, so I was in here trying to pry out the sway bar. Now watch this ball joint. I don't know if you can see that. I think it's bad. Well, for some reason, can't get that to come up out of the hole and then I noticed that that's got a hex on it so maybe I have a wrench that big and apparently I do it's the biggest one I have inch and a quarter and it seems to be turning so maybe we can get that off this way I got I think I have new bushings for that anyways so let's see what we can do all right well it was turning, but it was snapping off. <laughs> mm, old junk. 